Okay, welcome to Wild Owl TV. Look at these beauties. Now we've looked these moths up and we think they are red underwing moths and they are stunning. And as you can see, there's two there, plus some other species as well. But these moths are, um, are on the fruit feeders and this is what the fruit feeder has attracted. And it is just an absolute joy to once again do something that is attracting wildlife. And I mentioned about putting up, putting out um, feeders for moths. Look at all these moths. This bananas are really popular with these guys. And as you can see, well, even the melon is popular with them as well. And what they're doing is they're just enjoying feasting on the nectar that, uh, that this provides. Now that um, red underwing that we've just seen, um, there was two of them in fact just now. Just see if we can find them again because when that species flies it really is beautiful. Let's have a little look over here. There he goes. So, just landed in the grass. It really is amazing what you can find in the garden at night. So this is this moth just down on the grass and it's got its wings closed at the moment but once it opens its wings it reveals this beautiful red and black with white border underneath. There's just so much to see in a wildlife garden. Look at how that eye is reflecting in the light of the camera. Because of course these creatures have got night vision, they've got special eyes to see in the dark. And this moth actually landed on me earlier on. Let's see if we can uh, get a slightly different view for you. Now it is actually a large moth. I want to do, I'll just put my hand down towards the moth. Let me just uh, give you a clue as to how large this moth is. In fact, it might even go on my hand. Here you go. Now, but <laughs> by chance it went onto my, onto my uh, hood of my, uh, my camera though, but they it is actually um, they they were landing on me just now. Um, that was a, a gamble, but they are beautiful. So we got any other varieties, any other species here? There are some other species, and we got to kind of moths of I'm finding moths are really difficult, um, but there are all sorts here. There's another one there. It's just uh, another species. Of moth. So we can get back a little bit so the light can do its job. The light's fixed to the top of the camera. Oops. There you go. So if we had a moth expert here, we'd be reading off all sorts of names here. And all around this area, this is where the um, the nursery pond is. This is lots and lots of wildflowers around here. Um, so, sorry, not wildflowers, um, uh, different uh, wild plants, I should say. There's nettle, there's bramble, um, and this is where a lot of the, of the species um, roost up during the day. These moths, um, they disappear in amongst there during the day and then reveal themselves at night 
as they have. Now I can't come in front of the camera because I've got a battery pack attached to me. Um, but uh, on a quick look around to see if we've got anything else. No, nothing else. So I'll leave you there and thank you for watching Wild Owl TV and hope you enjoyed another fantastic moth experience. We are getting such a lot of pleasure from moths and this fruit table is really working well. So get one in your garden because at the end of the day this is giving these insects life and if you haven't got the right flowers to feed them then you can supplement them simply and cheaply like we are here. Bye for now.